Hello and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. We're continuing um, the cycle from the last episode. This is actually cycle 15. So uh, it lets you know that when you load the game, which is nice. I appreciate that extra little bit of flavor. So we're going to spend the rest of our dice. I say the rest of our dice, any of our dice. Um, looks like we can go to Lem and Mina's unit. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Lem can't work shifts in the shipyard unless someone watches Mina. You two seem to get along last time, and Lem is desperate. Unless Lem gets time in the shipyard, he won't qualify for the side reel crew lottery. Watching Mina gives him that chance. Well, I mean, how could I, how could I say no, honestly, to that? Let's let's uh, do this a couple times. Neutral outcome. Ticket out. Plus energy. Nice. Mina leads you on a winding tour of the block, chatting to the neighbors and collecting snacks. For a while, you forget about everything else. Um, let's do one more four here. would like to reserve my six for something else. Positive outcome. Plus, plus energy. By the end of the day, Mina curls up in your lap as you read her a story. She's asleep when Lem gets back and you two eat together. Very nice. Um, let's see what else we can do. Caster's table, we don't have enough information on that, although we are pretty close. So we almost have enough Havenage data for that. We don't have nearly enough. We need money. I really should have been spending some of that those dice on getting some money because I'm, I'm not exactly in the black right now. So why don't we go ahead and um, work on this side reel fit up. Oh, this is dangerous. I didn't realize. Well, we got a po positive outcome, some extra cryo, and plus two on the side reel uh, horizon. We can do another one, so let's go ahead and do another one. This will be our major source of income for a little while, I think. You spend the shift in a flow state linking systems to systems like thread on a loom. Your mind is a diagram of cause and effect. Okay, well, that's basically it. There are upgrades available. I do have two upgrade points. Um, maybe I should have put those on uh, interface, except I need three points for those. So maybe I should just wait for the third point. Um, or I can wait until uh, the game forces me to make a decision on adding plus one to the other ones. Dice actions display po potential positive and negative outcomes. Predictive reasoning. Dice actions display potential positive and negative outcomes. Huh. So these actually have abilities. I didn't even realize that. Thrill Seeker. Chance to gain energy after any engage action. Chance to gain cryo on interface actions. That must be why I've been getting so much money this game. Keep two dice even when condition is breaking. Interesting. Instant karma. Reroll all your... All of your dice once per cycle. Obsessive Haggler. All cryo actions are discounted by 20%. Sunbathe. Dice action allows energy recovery at home. And it seems to me that um, your one negative, you cannot improve. Oh, you, I guess you can improve this. So never mind. Never mind. Um, I guess you have to do a plus one to get endured to zero and then you can get the photosynthetic skin if you want well, was energy recovery at home that's interesting i guess that would save you some money um on uh, food anyway let's uh let's go ahead and, and rest we've got a couple of pending storylines and uh oof Okay, we're still at five dice, which is nice. This is a uh, this is a good varied set of dice. In fact, we we have like a is that a straight? No, one, two, three, four. No, we need a five. <laughs> there's there's nothing. You don't get anything for having a full set, but uh, it's pretty funny. Can we should be able? Okay, we should be able to do havenage. We can do havenage. Um, by which I mean hack. A Havenage agent and we should get two data from this plus one data items extracted yeah we got two it said one which was confusing 
but we actually got two. So we have five now, and we can go and give that to uh, our lad. We could also do some uh, a Yadigan agent. Yeah, this one requires one. So let's go ahead and do a Yadigan agent. We can sell this at the very least. It'll be useful for something. In fact, if we can do that other Yadigan agent, I'm pretty sure we can, we'll have enough to give that to um, Caster as well. Which would be really nice. But we are on Hunter's map. Yeah, we can do this. Though. Let's do it. We're going to have... Well, okay. The thing is, is that it might be that by giving either Yadigan or uh, um, uh, Havenage to Caster, we kind of uh, disable the other option. And it might be that we don't we don't get to, to have both our cake and eat it too. I think I'd prefer to give him a uh, Yadigan for now, because Havenage may be more useful for Fang's quest whenever that becomes available. Plus one stabilizer. Wow. That was good. That's enough for now, sleeper. I have other things to attend to. Is that it? Okay, so we get a stabilizer for that. that I mean, that's worth it. That saves us a hundred right there. We could give uh, the the five Havenage to them too. I wonder if that gives us another stabilizer. I appreciate what you're... Oh, one ship mined core. Core? Core, wow. I appreciate what you've presented, but I have nothing more to offer. Well, still, that's that's pretty good. I was expecting, I mean, those are good rewards, but they're not exactly progress in any meaningful way. But either way, we, we also need to do um, some stuff for uh, Minji here. So let's go ahead and do that. Fang's targets. Um, this is risky. We could put a point in the engage. Uh, and then that would t turn our fours into fives. But I kind of like the idea of just continuing saving and, and adult, like tripling down on uh, interface. So let's take a let's take a chance on uh, a four. Positive outcome. We got very lucky. Plus thirteen cryo and plus two to uh, Feng's targets. And let's go ahead and put our six on the express delivery so that we um, we can finish it tomorrow. Um, so we have, we have a stabilizer, so we're actually good for a little while. I wonder what, uh, oh yeah, okay, so compressor club, this guy is still drinking. How much longer can this go on for? Uh, I, I'm actually very confident that we're, we're well supplied at this point. We don't need any more food. We don't have any pending quests right now. Um, we could actually spend, uh, our cryo when the next uh, shipment comes in so that's kind of nice we have we have spare we don't have to inject stabilizer i'm cool with having only five action dice tomorrow um i'm pretty sure we'll the losing that one condition will put us at four sorry four dice tomorrow so let's go ahead and do that again i i think i'm i i'd like to basically Run, roll oh wow we, we still yeah we have four dice i'd like to roll with three dice until we're just about to lose our third dice and then use the stabilizer i think that's a not a terrible way of doing things because the most we lose is like two dice for a little while uh, again i'm sure there's a way to math it out so that there's like a, a an ideal kind of comfort zone so we've got a good set of varied dice here um, we're actually kind of, I mean, like we can do data mining. The problem with data mining is that the next one is going to give us a hunter, um, like encounter, um, which is probably going to wear on our condition. Don't know what condition we're at our, our, our oh man, flubbed that one up. All right. So let's. I just want to see how much uh, is data worth. We could give a fragment supply here and get some more money. Now that I have a second ship mine core, I'm kind of comfortable doing that. I feel comfortable doing that. Um, so we could give them Yadigan data. 
Uh, so that's where we spend our Yadigan data. Um, let's see here. This is dangerous, but we could spend a four on it. Yeah, I'm comfortable doing that. Well, actually, hold on. What's, uh, what's, what's up with the Ming? Not Ming, sorry. Uh, where is it? Yen? Yen and Mina? Okay. Um, safe. Could spend a two on this. It's a 50-50 negative. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'd much rather spend my one and two gathering data. And no matter how I gather the data, they're going to be worth money. And I know we're probably going to take a condition hit by doing this. I don't mind. I, I think that that's fine. At least we're getting money for our condition. Okay, so here comes a, a hunter uh, encounter. Oh, no? Did we get lucky? I guess we got lucky. So let's see if we can't find something to spend our one on. I do really appreciate this. This is, offers a nice kind of uh, extra place to spend our like lesser dice as resources. It's it's nice, you know, interface actually pays out quite nicely. Um, okay, let's see here. What do we want to do? Let's have a look at Ord Exchange. Play the exchange, risky. That's a into it. I don't I don't want to do that. Um, oh, Sabine has something to say to us. Four cycles, Sabine said, and here you are, right on the t right on time, with no sign of them. You wait a while in the apartment. The dread descending as the cycle spins onward. They should be here. Check the terminal. You check the double. And ju you check and double the terminal for messages or recordings. Nothing. Just the pale glow, the silence. Check the door. You pace back and forth around the apartment, the rumbling of the station suddenly so present and loud. You go to the door and open it to an en empty corridor. You close it again. You try to settle down, to wait. You sit on the bunk and stare out at the tiny room. Where the hell are they? Knock at the door. Open it. Who is this? Uh, Rabia? A figure stands in the door, and immediately you know it is not Sabine. They are taller, sharper, and something in their face glints in the half-light. A dark shape, like a stubby baton, hangs loosely from their hand. Our local sleeper. Good to finally meet you. She steps into the apartment, glancing around with sharp eyes. What may I ask are you doing here? She fixes you with a steady, unwavering stare. Waiting for a friend. Of course, a mutual friend of ours, the good doctor. She walks past you into the apartment, glancing around. I assume that this is also a, a sleeper. Maybe. We set them up here, you know. This place is one of ours. She picks up a glass from the dispenser and inspects it. People always seem to forget who put them where they are. She glances at you. And I suppose you are here to help? Where are they? I was hoping you would be able to help me with that. She spins the baton in her fingers by her side and her eyes not leaving yours. We have a problem, you and I. It seems our friend has disappeared, left without even saying goodbye, which means they are in a little trouble now. But it's the kind of trouble that you need help uh, for, so I thought I'd come, wait. But it's the kind of trouble that you need help for, so I thought I'd come down here and take a look at their little hidey hole, and here you are, the help. She looks through the detritus on the side. And what help? A sleeper, no less. Which I have to admit is a little surprising. It suggests to me that our friend hasn't been very honest with you either. What do you mean? Well, I'm sorry to report that before we got them set up here, Sabine was working for your owners. She pauses. As an ARP. You blink hard at the news, unsure how to take it. Uh, Rebia looks away. Maybe it's Rebia? Rabia? Rabia sounds a bit better, actually. Rabbi uh, looks away, waiting for a response. Stay silent. She crosses into the next room and you follow silently. She sits at the terminal and touches her baton to one of the access ports. A spark, then the terminal screen skips, encrypted folders emptying themselves before your eyes. In the flicker of files you see S and ARP, letterheads, and code forms. 
reports laden with medical data marked with the corporate logo like the sigil of some cult. Rabbi uh, steps away from the terminal. Look all you want. Some of your files may even be in there. The volume of documents is overwhelming, but they seem to be mostly reports on early emulation tests, surveys with sleeper candidates, reams and reams of usage data. If Sabine was an SNR uh, employee, why did they help you? Rabbi uh, reaches over and places a vial of stabilizer on the desk, breaking your concentration. It shimmers in the screen light. It's a viscous, clear liquid crystalline within the glass. We'll of, we will, of course, keep up the supply. We are more than able to dispense important medicines, even, even without the doctor. You hold it between your fingers, and for a tiny moment you have the urge to crush this object for the power it has over you. I'll ask Toshiro to make those a little cheaper for you. He'll be running the surgery now. Rabbiya closes up the briefcase lab and holds it at her side. We have to retrieve her assets, of course, but I'm sure you understand. Rabbiya turns on her way out. There is no reason for us to be enemies, sleeper. Come see me. I keep an office nearby. We have good work to do, you and I. Meet me there in a few cycles. She slips out silently into the corridor. You look around the apartment and feel the fear drain out of your body to reveal the tiredness beneath. Well, that's a second stabilizer dose. That's kind of nice. Yadigan Dispensary. It's only 80 now. Well, I won't be needing that for quite a while, because I'm actually quite stocked up now. Rabaya's office. Rabaya appointment. A constant flow of people seem to be visiting Rabaya's office. You'll need to wait your turn. So, um, scale the spoke. I forgot about this. Precarious elevators and stairways, the spoke can be navigated from outside. I feel like um, eventually the storyline is going to um, pressure us or push us to move into the spoke or into the, found, um, the, what do you call it? The greenway. I think we'll eventually move our, you know, be pressured to go to the greenway. And um, that is when I will save up money to go there. But for now, I'll... I'll keep on as I'm keeping on um we should try and make some more progress on Feng's quest uh risky kind of don't want to spend our three on that mm. yeah let's do this because I want a guaranteed positive to finish this off We'll also get some food. Sleeper, you see Feng coming up to the corridor as you step out of Mingji's, the kelp noodle smell still clinging to your clothes. He comes up fast and stops close, looking around suspiciously. I don't have long. Take these. Feng palms you a couple of those metal thumbnail-sized drives, ripper worms. My slate has been buzzing like crazy. It seems your delivery shifts have turned up our, t our, two, um, our two targets. He squeezes your shoulder. I knew you could do it. Now we nail those snakes. What do we do? Harden's boys are all connected by some kind of closed network. You break the access protocols on both of them. You should be able to gain the location of the nearest network ports. Slot the ripper worms in those ports, one each, and they'll feed me anything and everything stored on Harden's shadow network. He smiles. Can't wait to see what juicy plans they have in there. You hear the scuff of boots as a group comes up the corridor, likely on their way to place an order with Ming Ji. Uh, you turn for a second, and when you look back, Feng is already halfway down the corridor in the opposite direction. He raises a hand in farewell and is gone. You run your fingers over the tiny ripper worm drives in your pocket and smile to yourself as you wonder how mad Jenna would be at Feng for a little this little excursion. Time to slot those worms. Nice. Um, let's see. How are we going to do that? I assume we have to do that in this mode. Yadigan agent, hardened agent. There we go. So we have two hardened agents. Um, oh. We need a six or a four. These are the first time uh, data... Uh, or interface data has required anything more than a three or four. This is five and three. We could spend a point on this. Kind of wanted to spend it on the um, 
the long-term pro project, but this is fine too. Let's let's do that. We'll probably be able to pay for itself. Hardened agent port unlocked. There it is. And we'll slot in a ripper worm. Port closed. Okay. Good stuff. Um, we don't really have anything else we can do, so why don't we go ahead and just grab some food? I wish I could have uh, progressed emphasis stall. I don't seem to be able to do that. You'll need three handfuls of griot cr uh, caps, fresh and firm. You know what I, I should do is just um, get to know emphasis. Why don't we just toggle tracking for a moment? It's leading me to emphasis stall, but that's just so that I can drop off the griot. I wonder if there's anything else, anywhere else it would lead me to. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay. So it's just something we're going to have to figure out over time. Um, those docks are, have, not, uh, you know, don't have the ships yet. Uh, I definitely want to buy the scrap when it becomes available. Um, I guess I'm done. I don't really have anything else to do right now. And we'll tackle that last, uh, that second hardened agent tomorrow. I, I really appreciate this game. It's almost like a worker placement game in, in a weird way. It feels worker placement-esque, you know? Um... Yeah, we're still on Emphis. Hack Hardens Network. Why don't we go ahead and toggle that for now? Um, is this... That's a Yadigan agent. Hold on a second. Why isn't it showing me? Oh, there we go. There, there's the Harden agent. Okay, f six and four. Oh my god, we don't have either of those. Well, that sucks. So we can't do this at all today. If we could re-roll our dice, that would be decent, but we can't. So, we'll just have to worry about that some other day. We could do, um, Lemon Mina. Let's throw a five at Lemon, uh, Lemon Mina. A uh, neutral outcome. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Uh, Mina leads you on a winding tour of the block, chatting to the neighbors and collecting snacks. For a while, you forget about everything else. Alrighty, um, what else can we do? Ort Fabricator. Oh, those, are those ships in yet? No. One more cycle, and, uh, our, I think the scrap one will be in, which should be good. We could sell some data. Let's sell some Yadigan data. We only get 10 cryo for that. Kind of kind of not worth, but that's fine. It's something. We're going to need it. We're going to need as much money as we can get. Um where are we with Feng? Oh right, we have to do Harden's quest. Uh, the the Harden agents. I can't believe I I'd already forgot about that. Help Lem work. Uh, uh, I guess we'll throw another five at this. If we can get a positive, that'd be nice. Nice. That way we don't have to spend anything else on it. By the end of the day, Mina curls up in your lap as you read her a story. She's asleep when Lim gets back, and you two eat together. She's asleep, whispers Lim, creeping back out of the unit's tiny bedroom, sliding the door shut as he does. You are perched at a thin bar in the main room, the slate in front of you still glowing with Mina and your drawings from a cycle spent together. That is a ring, the only world Mina no has ever known, with stick figures standing along the edge. The tall one is you. Drink? asks Slim, producing a worn-looking bottle of griol. Giriol? Girol? Girole? I don't know. From under the bar, its contents glowing amber in the fluorescent light. Sure. Lem nods and glugs a few fingers into a 
a couple of metal tumblers, then sits down with you at the bar. Cheers, he offers, and you clink the metal containers together. You know, we actually have something to celebrate this time around. Lem gives you a sideways look. I made the assembly team on the side reel. He grins broadly. Clearly has, he has been desperate to tell you all cycle. Amazing. Lem holds up his drink. Couldn't have done it without you keeping an eye on little Meanie back there. Lem shifts a little on his stool. He looks uncomfortable. How's our girl doing, sleeper? I haven't seen much of her these past cycles. Doing great. Of course she is. He playfully squeezes her uh, your shoulder. She talks about you a lot, you know. Draws you. I'm glad she has a friend that isn't me. His eyes drift to the bedroom door. She's great. He nods. I can't take all the credit for Mina. She isn't actually mine. He gazes into the middle distance. I pulled her off of a refugee shuttle out by uh, one of Ember's moons. The colony has fallen apart for decades after Solheim collapsed, surviving on next to nothing. Eventually, some of the residents tried to make for the eye on these decrepit old shuttles. He sloshes the drink around in his tumbler. They had no idea what they were doing. The one Mina was on uh, decompressed halfway there, half halfway here. The one Mina was on decompressed halfway here. Everyone spaced. The only reason she made it was someone sealed her in a weapon locker. She was ice cold when I reached her. Purple lips. He shivers. Once I picked her up, I wouldn't let go. The medics treated her with me, still clinging to her. He takes a drink, still not sure why. He reaches over and refills his cup. We weren't exactly anybody's heroes, you understand. We were private military, hired in by Conway to protect their claims in the collapse. But once I got Mina, that was it. I quit. Got us dumped here. You saved her. I'm gonna sound like an idiot now, but, uh, he sighs. She saved me. That's the truth of it. He looks around the decaying unit. It's stained plastic plating and flickering lights. Me and I brought her... Me, I brought her to this. She was tiny, too small to know what she lost, but I can't stop thinking about it. He rubs his eyes, dark with tiredness. What if our numbers, uh... What if our number doesn't come up in the draw, sleeper? What then? The side reel will sail off without a thought, leaving us here. What kind of life is that for her? You'll make it. Sorry, I know you don't have it any better. He looks at this cup. He looks at his cup and pushes it, pushes it down the bar. This is a celebration, right? Both of us on the team now. Both of us in with a chance. Exactly. Imagine all three of us riding the side reel horizon out, out of here, to a new world. He looks into his glass for a moment. I think I drank this too fast. He laughs. Lem stands and starts to clear the glasses into the, into the auto wash. I need some f sleep, friend. Me too. All right, then. He catches your shoulder as he, you turn to leave. Thank you, sleeper. I mean it, from both of us. He pats your shoulder, and you slip out into the dark of the hallway um, with thoughts of little Mina in your mind. We got an upgrade point. Good robot. And that means we can put... have a plus two in interface. Nice. Um, that's actually fantastic, because if we come back here, we can put this three into the side reel fit up and it becomes a five. And this job is gonna become a lot easier because we can basically, we could spend twos on it. And why not spend a two on it? Neutral outcome, I'll accept the neutral outcome. Um, pretty sure I, I saw that it, it mentioned the side reel progress as being of red. I wonder if maybe it's not seen as a positive that the side reel project is being slowly completed. So, um, again, we can't really progress Fang today, so getting, getting some extra money is a good idea. We now have enough money we could do something like open up the Founder's Gap. 
Oof, that is really expensive. But that's fine. We're going to be seeing a lot more money very quickly now that we have uh, increased interface. So let's go ahead and end the cycle. And I may, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Um, it's a good place to end it. We'll see if there's any progress here. No, there isn't. So if you're enjoying this series, uh, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.